On day two of a study on dog temperatures, 106 temperatures were taken. Suppose of those, the first 10 temperatures were used in a sample. The mean and standard deviation of these 10 temperatures were 98 and 44 hundredths degrees and 30 hundredths degrees, respectively. Construct a 95% confidence interval for the mean of all body temperatures. All right, let's first start by determining what type of confidence interval we need to construct. And that's going to be a 95% confidence interval. So our C value is going to be 95%. Other important information that we get from the word problem is that in the sample, there are 10 temperatures. So that's going to be our N value is going to be 10. The mean and standard deviation of these 10 temperatures were 98 and 44 hundredths degrees and 30 hundredths degrees, respectively. So that means that the mean is 98 and 44 hundredths and our standard deviation is going to be the 3 tenths or 30 hundredths. I'm going to write it as 3 tenths. To construct this confidence interval, we're going to need the T star value or the critical value of T star. Um, in order to do that, we have to look it up in a table. So we need to determine um, first the level and the level is equal to one minus the confidence interval percentage as a decimal. So that's one minus 95 hundredths, which will give us five hundredths. And then the degrees of freedom is equal to n minus one, which in our case is equal to 10 minus one, which is nine. So now if we look at our T star table, again, we're looking at five hundredths for two tailed. So that's here. And we're going down to nine. So our T value is going to be two and 262 thousandths. So let's write that down. T star for our critical value is two and 262 thousandths. All right, so now we can um, determine our confidence interval. And our confidence interval is equal to our mean plus or minus the critical value T star times our standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So we can put 98 and 44 hundredths plus or minus 2.262 times 3 tenths or 30 hundredths, if you wanted to write it that way, divided by the square root of 10. And if we substitute our formula into our calculator and evaluate, we get that the lower bound for our confidence interval is 98 and about 22 hundredths, and our upper bound is 98 and about 65 hundredths. And that's answer choice D.